Have you seen this hashtag floating around somewhere? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what it is, how you can get involved, and I'll also answer some of the frequently asked questions surrounding the 66 days of data. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kenji, and I'm a data scientist and YouTuber working in the sports space. Earlier in 2020, I decided I wanted to start learning data science again because I felt like I was stagnating in my personal growth. In order to do this effectively, I also thought that more than anything else, I needed good habits around data science learning to keep me on track. And this is why I started the 66 Days of Data Challenge. The challenge is simple. It only has two parts. First, learn some data science every day for 66 days straight. At the minimum, you should be putting in at least five minutes a day. You're welcome to do more time each day or do more days if you'd like. There's some people from the first pass through of my 66 days who are at over 100 days of continuous learning. Part two is to share what you're working on each day on your preferred social media platform with the hashtag 66 days of data. You can do this on Twitter like I did last time. You can do it on LinkedIn. You can do it in the 66 days of data discord. Anywhere that you would like to share, you can. The first pass through the 66 days of data challenge was awesome. The discord server gained over 2,500 new members and I've seen thousands of posts with the hashtag 66 days of data since the initiative was launched. There have been incredible stories of people building their first project, landing their first internship or job, or even taking their PhD research to the next level that they're sharing with the community. It really warms my heart to see these types of stories and to see people sharing their work. This challenge has three major benefits. First, it helps you create a daily learning habit, which is an integral part of the data science career path. One thing that I found in my comments is that people are often giving up because they lose momentum. They put something down and they just can't seem to pick it up again. I've definitely uh, fallen victim to this myself. <laughs> the key to getting around this is doing just a little bit each day and you keep momentum on all of your projects when you do this. The second benefit is that you get comfortable with sharing your work. Sharing your work is how you get constructive feedback. It can also open many doors for you whether it's just finding new data science partners for your projects or meeting friends. You can even put yourself on a potential employer's radar through sharing. The third benefit is that by sharing, you also have a community that will hold you accountable. This often is the missing piece and the reason why many people stop their studies in the early stages. There's something incredibly powerful about having your peers keep you in check and on track. Honestly, you can learn whatever you want during the 66 days of data period and if you're looking for some more structure, there are definitely plenty of great resources to help you out. You can use all free resources online or do this initiative with one of the paid certificates or programs that you've already bought. If you're a grad student and you're doing a dedicated course of study, you can also follow along with your normal coursework. For free resources, I always recommend Kaggle.com. I think that's the best place to learn and pick up data science projects on the internet, period. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm a huge proponent of project-based learning. If you'd like a more robust option or course of study, 365 Data Science and NVIDIA have been awesome in supporting this initiative. 365 Data Science has given me more than 23 month subscriptions to give away over the course of this upcoming year. And NVIDIA has given me 30 credits to their Deep Learning Institute. I'm still figuring out how to distribute these, but I expect I'll do something where everyone who's done more than seven days straight at the start of the year will be eligible to be a part of the drawing for these resources. If you wanna get started before then, or you wanna get onto one of these courses of study, I've left some discount codes for the coursework in the description and in the pinned comment below. Again, there's no obligation to, to do the paid courses. There are plenty of good free resources, but for people who do want a kind of more robust filled out course of study, those are options. In addition to the course resources, I can't stress how awesome the community for the 66 days of data has been. People have put together Notion templates to keep track of your progress, GitHub repos for learning resources, and some people have blogged or put all of their daily progress in GitHub for you to go through to use as a template. I'm going to link a bunch of these resources in the description and in the pinned comment below, so be sure to leverage those. Be sure to talk to the community about what is out there. So what's this 66 days of data gonna look like for me? Last time I was really focused on relearning the basics, but this time around I'll be working primarily on projects and documenting my journeys there. I have some awesome YouTube projects in the pipeline and you'll get a sneak peek and maybe even some input into what I build next. For this time around, I also got a few of my friends to join me 
Andrew Mo and Tina Huang will be tracking their 66 days of data as well. Be sure to follow them on the socials to see what they're up to and what you can learn from them. So I put this video together mainly because I was getting a lot of questions about this initiative and I thought I needed a single place to address them. Here are some of the most common questions that I get asked and some of the answers to them. Okay, so let's answer some questions. The first one I most commonly get is how do I start? Starting this challenge is easy. You just have to start learning data science and begin sharing your journey on your favorite platform with the hashtag 66 days of data. For the last challenge, I use Twitter and Discord for my updates. This upcoming one, I'll be adding LinkedIn. If you want, you can also tag me on either of these platforms if you post. I like pretty much all of these if I see them. I do get a lot of tags, so if I miss a couple, don't worry, I do my best to go through them. If you want an extra resource, you can also join the Discord, which is an incredible place to ask questions and to learn. I've linked it below in the comment section and in the description, uh, so definitely check it out there. The next question that I'm commonly asked is why 66 days? In James Clear's book called Atomic Habits, he notes that the average time that it takes to ingrain a new habit is 66 days. Since the challenge is about creating great data science habits, I thought this time period is really fitting for the initiative. Again, many people have gone well beyond this threshold and are in the triple digits now. Another question I get is how do I get involved? The best way to get involved is to join the Discord server. There are a bunch of awesome threads with resources, places to meet partners for projects, and opportunities to share your work. The next question is why is five minutes the minimum threshold? Again, borrowing from James Clear, the key to a good habit is momentum. We want to learn every day, even if it's just a little bit. I chose five minutes because that's something we can likely do no matter what the circumstances are. If I'm about to fall asleep and I realize I forgot to do my learning for that day, I could still get up and do five minutes, even if I'm dead tired. I could watch a YouTube video. I could read some of one of the books. With this threshold, there should be no excuses for not sticking to it. This challenge is really about consistency and not about how many hours you can put in. We're trying to establish great habits, not learn the whole field of data science in 66 days. I really don't think that is possible. I do understand though that it, life does get in the way sometimes, and if you miss a day, you can always start the challenge over again or pick up where you left off. Now, the last question I usually get is, when does it start? This initiative starts whenever you'd like it to. For me, I'll be starting up my second round of the 66 days of data on my birthday, which is January 4th. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> No need to start with me though, you can start learning and sharing today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me when I start up the 66 days of data challenge again on January 4th.